My name is Ariki Latoyson. This video is being brought to you by Commentary Creations. So what are we going to talk about today? Name, image, likeness in Pennsylvania and what that means. What that means is finally in Pennsylvania, well, first thing I'm going to do is get this helmet off my head because it's my neighbor's nine-year-old helmet and I can barely think right now. So in Pennsylvania, for the first time ever, actual college athletes can make money off of advertising, their looks, their likes, and everything else they do on social media. Now, this is the first time this has been allowed. Before that, it would have been illegal and people that would lose their college eligibility and not be able to play. But now since the law has changed because of the Supreme Court, finally, a college athlete, just like a professional athlete, can make money. And so what does that mean? Well, there's different rules. First thing I want to tell you is each state has their own rules. So Pennsylvania has their rules, maybe different than rules in Texas. So in Pennsylvania, the first thing is you must be in school. That's important. Second thing is that you can no longer still, just like before, you can't do an actual pay to play scheme. That is still illegal and that is still against the rules. So what that means is outside companies, they can pay the athletes, not the universities, but the outside company can pay an athlete a fair market value to advertise on behalf of that product and the people can make money off of it. And this is kind of just really just even the playing field for male and female athletes. Because female athletes, they can use their likeness, they can use their ability to play sports, gymnastics, whatever, basketball. Some of the biggest people making money right now are female athletes. There are two twin basketball players down in Florida that already signed a million dollar deal just based on their basketball skills and the different things that they can do with social media. So there are still rules in Pennsylvania such as you can't advertise things that's ga gambling or, or, or drugs or cigarettes and things of that nature. You also have to check with the university to make sure there's no existing contract. So if you want to sign a contract with Nike to advertise a sneaker, but your current university has a contract with Reebok, well, that would be against the rules. Also, you can't use this ability to then say looking for professional contracts to then go pro. This is still only in reference to being an amateur athlete. And one thing which is really good, even if a person doesn't get involved with NIL, but the university is selling jerseys with your name on it, Pennsylvania says you still get a cut of that. So NIL is a new thing. It's a new opportunity to even the market here. So individuals can make money just like professional athletes, but still remain students. Now the only people in Pennsylvania that can do this are attorneys like myself. And we actually started a company, NILPA.com, and also managers. Other than that, no one else is allowed to work on behalf of amateur athletes in the NIL world. So this is a very new emerging field, and it's in a very exciting time right now because this is the first time that athletes can make money while still being in college and not mess up their eligibility to play sports. So name, image, likeness. That's what NIL means. Ricky Latoyson, thank you.